to the Kaiser the Carter channel and the quick LO206 playlist. My name is Austin Kaiser and I'm just a normal guy. I'm new to LO206 go-karting, but I'm here to hopefully help you quickly navigate your karting journey as well. Now this episode is actually going to be the start of what will be a few videos where we start taking a deeper dive into shopping for a used go-kart, where we look at some of the considerations within that, some of the costs associated with getting into go-karting, and then hopefully some other things that help you in your shopping journey as well. So since in the previous few episodes, we really dove deep into the engine and shopping for a used engine, where we're gonna start today is actually looking at the chassis, which for those of you that are new to this, the chassis means the frame of the go-kart, where everything here sits on. And so we're gonna to touch on a couple things that are key uh, to look for and consider when going and shopping for your first used cart. So the first thing is, is you wanna inspect the cart to look for welds on the frame, welds on the chassis. Um, any part that is welded could potentially compromise the structure and the integrity of the chassis. Um, and when I say welded, I'm not talking the original welds, right, where you can see the paint and all that kind of stuff. I'm talking a, a secondhand weld that's been on there, and, and typically they're pretty easy to find. Uh, hopefully this picture gives you a little example of what that could look like. The next thing you're going to try to keep in mind is you want to look at the bottom of the chassis and see if there's any spots that are worn through. Um, as you are aware, these are super low to the ground, and so it's not uncommon for them to scrape the pavement or the, or the cement when they're driving. And so over time, that can actually wear through the bottom of a chassis, which again, if there's now a hole in there, compromises the integrity and the performance of the chassis. And then the final thing to be aware of is the knuckles of a go-kart. And so, and these images right here, these are the knuckles. And it's important for these to be straight because this impacts your alignment, which just like any other normal car, uh, if your alignment is off, your engine performance decreases, your tire wear increases, which uh, just as in the, in the sense of go-karting, we want our engines to be at optimum performance. We want our tires to last us a long time. The next thing to be aware of when shopping for your first used cart uh, in, the, in the vein of chassis is this term called a roller. So when you're out and you're shopping, maybe on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, and you see people advertising that they're selling the cart as a roller. What they mean by that is that there's no engine attached to it. So even though they might have pictures of the go-kart with an engine on it, just be aware that if they're saying selling as a roller, as a roller, then at that point you would be buying a cart without an engine on it. The final thing I wanna to communicate to you today is actually most chassis are built either for a two-stroke engine or a four-stroke engine. So I came to learn this because I was, I had a bunch of carts saved. I kind of had my eye on a few, um, but then there was one popped up that had a two stroke KA100 engine on it. And the guy had it listed for pretty cheap. He was trying to get rid of it really fast. And so I had the thought, what if I bought this cart, I sold the engine, and then I mounted an LO206 engine on it. So I essentially like flipped the cart into that. Um, so I did a bunch of research. I know it would be a huge learning curve for me to even do that. Um, but again, from a budget standpoint, it kind of started to make sense. What I came to learn in all that, though, is um, my initial premise to this is, is actually chassis are built for either two-stroke engines or four-stroke en engines. So yes, while um, it is possible to, to flip a chassis in that regard, um, the chassis actually aren't necessarily even created to handle those different types of engines. I hope you found this episode to be helpful and informational to you. Um, this is one element that uh, when I started learning these things, again, really helped me hone in on what I was looking for and what I was shopping for as I was shopping for my own first use cart. Um, so be sure to subscribe to the Kai's the Carter channel. Be sure to like this video uh, and, and post any questions that you might have. Thanks and we'll see you next time. <laughs>